Gangsta Boo was born Lola Chantrell Mitchell on August 7, 1979 at Memphis, Tennessee. She grew up on the south side of Memphis in the White Haven area, better known as Black Haven. She always had a love for music and would start rapping at a young age. Being inspired by local rappers such as Hey Ball and MJG, Al Capone, Skinny Pimp, and Gangsta Pat. When she was in middle school, she would perform at talent shows, helping her gain exposure in the growing underground hip-hop scene. This is where she would meet DJ Paul, who already had a local buzz going as a rapper and a DJ. He invited Gangsta Boo to the studio to record after a female rapper he had booked to show up for studio time. Gangsta Boo was just 14 years old, but her lyrics told a different story. The first song she recorded with DJ Paul was Chief of the Reefer for his upcoming mixtape for the summer 94, volume 16. Gangsta Boo would grow more popular as she was requested by fans to be on more of 3 6 Mafia's music, making her a permanent part of the group. She signed to the independent label Hypnotized Minds, and on May 30th, 1995, 3 6 Mafia released their debut album, Mystic Styles, filtering songs with Gangsta Boo. They released their second album, The End, in 1996, and Chapter 2, or Domination, in 1997. The following year, on September 29th, 1998, she released her debut album, Inquiring Minds. The album peaked at number 46 on the Billboard 200 due to her hit single, Where Them Dollars At. She appears on the 36 Mafia album when The Smoke Clare is released in 2000 and the soundtrack for the independent movie Choices in 2001. That same year, she released her second album, Both Worlds Star 69, on June 31st, 2001. The album peaked at number 29 on the Billboard 200. However, she would part ways with 36 Mafia after her second album due to internal issues with the group. But because she had an affiliation with 36 Mafia, she would also gain a cult following. She released her third album, Inquiring Minds 2, the soap opera through Yorktown Records on September 23, 2003. From that point on, she released a series of mixtapes including Street Ringers Volume 1 and 2, Still Gangsta, Gangsta Rock, The Rumors, and Forever Gangsta. In 2013, she reunited with DJ Paul alongside Lord Infamous, Crunchy Black, and Coops and Nigga as the collective of the Mafia 6. They released one mixtape called Six Commandments. The group disbanded later that year after the death of Lord Infamous. She also teamed up with former label mate LeChat, releasing the EP titled Witch the following year. On December 2nd, 2021, she performed with DJ Paul, Juicy J, and Crunchy Black in the versus battle against Bone Thugs and Harmony. The battle would go viral after a fight broke out between the groups, making it one of the most talked about battles and led to several interviews. Gangsta Boo helped pioneer female rap coming from the South and is considered the queen of Memphis. She appeared on Lotto's track FTCU alongside Memphis rapper Glorilla. She was evolving as an OG artist in the game and working on her upcoming album called The Blueprint to be released in 2023. On January 1st, 2023, at around 4 p.m., Gangsta Boo was found unresponsive on the porch of her home in Memphis. It's alleged that she passed away from an overdose. She was 43 years old. Her untimely death shocked the hip-hop community and broke hearts all over Memphis. She will always be remembered as the first lady of 36 Mafia as she paved the way for many female artists to come. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button and turn on post notifications for future uploads. Make sure to tap in, go check out 1008 Dame new mixtape, Matrix Me, now streaming on all platforms. 1008 to the gates.